there is a new way Chelsea are doing their transfers and it's absolutely shocking. Estevao William, Kendry Pais, Omari Kellerman, Aaron Anselmino, Tosina Drebiolio, Kieran and Dewsbury Hall, and Mark Guyu. Who are all these guys the Blues are signing this summer? Is it a failure or a new genius plan? You'll be the first to see everything as it is. Well, looks like Chelsea launched their chance for summer campaign more actively than any other club in the English Premier League. But there is one big difference. This time, they are heavily focused on youngsters very few of us have heard of yet. The pensioners have already signed Argentine centre-back Aaron Anselmino, English centre-back Tosin Adrebioyo, English central midfielder Kieran and Dewsbury Hall, English attacking midfielder Omari Kellerman, Ecuadorian attacking midfielder Kendry Pius, Spanish striker Mark Guyu, and Brazilian winger Estevao Bullion. And none of them is even 20 years old. So, what does this mean? Does this mean that Chelsea will no longer pay too much for stars, but will entrust its future to young people instead? Is the club owner Todd Boyley once again making some stupid decisions, or is this actually a brilliant change in the transfer policy? In order to find answers to these questions, we'll take a closer look at each of the club's new records. Aaron Anselmino is a 19-year-old Boca Junior Sanchez back who made his first team debut a year ago after getting through the Blue and Golds Academy. So far, the lad has made only 10 appearances for the squad. The reason for this is a hamstring injury Aaron suffered after his debut, due to which he missed 50 days of action. Unfortunately, Anselmino has recently had a relapse, and such an injury record could have certainly alerted Chelsea's executives when they acquired Boca's defender. However, the London club's board was most likely influenced by the words of Boca Juniors president and Argentina legend Juan Roman Riquelme, who has a very high opinion of Anselmino. He has developed a lot, with the growth, the hat that he has, and the desire to learn that he shows he is on his way to being a great footballer, Riquelme assures. Although the guy's potential is undeniable, Anselmino's injury problems are still alarming and his signing looks rather questionable at the moment. So it's better for Chelsea to play it safe. After all, the club already got a proven option from the Premier League, who was among the most sought-after performers out there. Tosina Drebioyo is a Manchester City Academy graduate who moved to Fulham in October 2020 for just under 2 million euros. The English centre-back made 132 appearances for the Cottagers. In his last season, he refused to pen a new contract which would have made him the highest paid footballer in the team. As a free agent, despite the interest of Manchester United and Newcastle United, 26-year-old Adrebioyo chose to join Chelsea. In the Blues' ranks, the newcomer is expected to close the gap in defense left by Thiago Silva's departure, so Tyson will have big butts to fill. However, the acquisition of a Leicester City representative that no one expected to end up at Chelsea seems no less controversial. Kieran in Dewsbury Hall is a Leicester City midfielder, the same team that Chelsea's new boss and Sumareska coached last season. The Blues bought the 25-year-old Foxes performer for £30 million and this is a purely managerial signing. Dewsbury Hall delivered a superb season in the championship under Maresca, netting 12 goals and providing 15 assists in 49 appearances. Kiernan was a key player in the Italian coach's tactics, which is why he will try to make an impact at Chelsea in the upcoming season. But how realistic can it be? Not all fans are happy with Kieran and arrival, and many see this move as a reminder of a failed purchase of Danny Drinkwater from Leicester back in 2017. Dewsbury Hall is brought in under the sole responsibility of Enzo Maresca, and if Pep Guardiola's pupil flops at Chelsea, then the player will be trapped too. You see, there is something to think carefully about. However, the following prospect will definitely add positivity to Chelsea fans. Omari Kellerman is the Aston Villa midfielder. The team joined the Birmingham Club's academy in 2022, having previously spent 10 years in the Derby County system. 
Kellerman made 45 appearances for Villain's youth teams, scoring 14 goals and providing 6 assists. The start of the 2023-24 season marked Amari's debut in the main roster. He featured in only 6 games, but gained necessary experience in the Premier League, League Cup and Conference League. As part of Aston Villa, Kellerman was predicted to have a bright future and was even called the new Jack Grealish. However, the £19 million offered by Chelsea for Omari convinced the Lions to sell their talent. As a result, the London club landed a promising playmaker who is well adapted to English football and can fit into the Chelsea starting eleven faster than it seems. With that being said, we also have to pay attention to the 17-year-old Ecuadorian super monster who is rated even higher than Cole Palmer. Kendry Pais, that's who we are talking about. The Ecuadorian attacking midfielder who represents Independiente del Valle has decided to play for Chelsea and will move to London in 2025 when he turns 18. Pais's transfer cost the Blues 20 million euros. Pais is capable of taking on the role of a number 10, as well as playing in the midfield and closer to the wing. He is called the Ecuadorian Diamond, since he has already broken records as the youngest debutant and goal scorer in his native league. He netted his first professional goal at the age of 15, right in his first appearance. Pais also became the youngest goal scorer at the U20 World Cup, and as a captain, the team led the Ecuador U17 squad to the Copa America final. After getting a call up to the senior national team, Pais became the youngest ever South American to score in a World Cup qualifier at 16 years and 161 days old. By the way, it was the back of Bolivia's net that Kendry hit with his strike, assisted by Chelsea's midfielder Moises Caicedo. Pai has also shown at the Copa America, which is currently taking place in the United States. At the age of 16, the Ecuadorian converted a spot kick during a clash against Jamaica and thus became the second youngest player to score at the Copa America. Interestingly enough, Kendry celebrated that goal in the style of Cole Palmer. And in May, the South American news outlet Bola Deep informed that Pais will earn £2 million a year when he officially joins Chelsea in 2025. His salary will be higher than Palmer's, with the club having the highest expectations for a winger as gifted and unique as Kendry. Therefore, Pias is one of Chelsea's most exciting signings for the future and the hype around him is not accidental. But Chelsea couldn't just stop there, so they decided to go for Barcelona's mega-talent, who the world needs to know about. Barcelona forward Marc Guyou is Chelsea's next young acquisition. The 18-year-old Spaniard enrolled in Barca's academy in 2013. His first call-up to the first team came in June 2023. The lad was included in a squad for friendlies against Celta Vigo and Japan's Vissel Kobe at the end of the 2022-23 season. Besides, Marc reached the U-17 European Championship semi-finals with Spain and became their top scorer with four goals backed throughout the tournament. In October of the same year, Marc made his debut for Barcelona in La Liga against Athletic Bilbao and 23 seconds after entering the pitch, the Westgate netted a goal that eventually brought the Catalans three points. Moreover, Guyu has won the Man of the Match award for that performance. In total, he scored twice in seven appearances last season. Guyu is a classic number nine who is a great header, possesses great strength and speed, and is very aggressive in tackling and pressing. These qualities of Mark impressed Chelsea, with the Blues bosses believing that Guyu won't need to go on a loan deal. He'll be given a shot to make a name for himself in the first team right away. That said, the boy is still very young and we shouldn't expect him to become the main striking force of the London team overnight. As for this moment, it's better to take Guyu's arrival with cautious optimism. Yet, the next youngster is a real game-changer and Chelsea's biggest discovery of them all. And here comes the main man, Esteval William. The 17-year-old Brazilian winger from Palmeiras appears to be one of Chelsea's most promising signings for the future. Esteval offers amazing dribbling, excellent game IQ and decision-making. He plays equally well with both feet, especially his left one, and tends to operate on the right wing of the attack. 
In his style of play, the boy is somewhat reminiscent of Lionel Messi. As a matter of fact, in Brazil, Estevão was given the appropriate nickname, Messinho. No doubt, the prospect's career is developing at an incredible pace. At the age of 14, he moved to Palmeiras from Cruzeiro. As part of the Palmeiras youth teams, Estevão captured the Campeonato Paulista Sub-17, Campeonato Paulista Sub-15 and Copa do Brasil Sub-17. At 16, he made his debut for the first team and despite his young age, Estevão is already the third youngest Palmeiras scorer and third youngest Brazilian scorer in the Copa Libertadores. Now the wonder kid is constantly put up front at Palmeiras, breaking into all top lists of the promising young players on the planet. Chelsea see Estevão as a generational talent who can surpass Hendrik and even Vinicius Jr. The Blues will pay 65 million euros for Estevão if all bonus conditions are met, making it the most expensive sale from South America in the history of the number one game. However, Chelsea will still have to wait another year. Estevão, like Kendry Pius, will only join the roster next year, once he comes of age. Chelsea's new transfer campaign appears to be extremely intriguing. Not all of the newcomers will be able to immediately hit the ground running in the first team, though each of them has tremendous talent to be discovered in the future. After many years of chaotic overpayments and confusing transfers, Chelsea are finally finding its unique way of handling these aspects, assembling the best young talent from around the world and thinking many steps ahead. But you know what? We haven't even told you half of what you need to know about Chelsea's new main star, Estevão William. Have you heard about his super contract with Nike? Do you know what special clause is included in his contract with Chelsea? And what does Neymar think of him? Find out in the new video in front of you. Hit the like button if you find Chelsea's new policy useful and subscribe to our channel.